what are the types of MDS? The types of MDS have actually changed over the years. Uh, every so often, pathologists get together and they revise the terminology that is used to describe the bone marrow findings. For instance, if your red blood cells look funny and the white blood cells and the platelets don't look funny within the bone marrow, then it's called unilineage dysplasia. If there are increased number of blast cells in the bone marrow, we call this refractory anemia with excess blasts and there can be a subtype 1 and a subtype 2. If there are lots of monocytes in the bone marrow, we tend to refer to this as chronic myelomonocytic leukemia. There are some types that are known by the chromosome abnormality. For instance, a 5Q- syndrome, or DEL5Q. And this refers to a specific type of MDS. And in fact, that subtype of MDS has a very specific treatment that works extremely well in about two-thirds of the patients. So we have about 10 different subtypes of MDS, depending upon unilineage or multilineage dysplasia, the presence or absence of a cell called a ring sideroblast, the percentage of blasts, and so one can characterize MDS into these different entities. One of the questions that were asked is what does this mean? Most of these entities have names that are very difficult uh, for even doctors who are not hematologists to understand, let alone patients. It's very important to ask your physician to explain why they arrived at the diagnosis that they did because for some of these diseases the treatment may vary. In general, the treatment of these diseases depends on the prognosis more than on visualizing the cells in the bone marrow. And so it's very important to know your diagnosis but also to know your prognosis according to one of the standard prognostic scoring systems.